We are going to be doing a foundation wear test today. Yesterday, we went to Nashville to visit my dad for Father's Day. And while we were there, we stopped by Walmart because we had to pick up a few things to take to him. And the Walmart store that we went to, they had an entire aisle that was all elf cosmetics here in memphis our stores do carry elf but usually it's a smaller area and like the newer products don't really ever come to our stores until like later they usually start at target if they you know they come at all this store had almost every single newer launch which i was really excited about i've already tr uh, purchased and tried the camo blushes before and they have like the bronzing drops and stuff like that but i didn't pick any of those products up because I, I knew they were not going to be suitable for my greasy face but i did pick up the elf soft glam satin foundation this is one of the things i haven't wanted to try this for a while rather i was going to order it from the elf website but when i saw that they had it at that walmart i went on ahead and i snatched it up it has a medium buildable long lasting finished long lasting coverage one percent hydrating hibiscus complex does not claim to be to have a satin matte finish or a mattifying finish doesn't have like some weird 16 hour you know wear time claim or anything like that so i'm not expecting mattifying or you know oil control or anything like that with this formula like i mentioned i do have oily skin i also have a large pore so i will be wearing primers that's just what i do i want to give this foundation the you know best chance that i can give it and I've already done my primers. I've done the e.l.f. Liquid Poreless Putty Primer followed by the Mora Complete Facial Mattifying Primer. I've really been enjoying this combination. I will also be setting this down with a setting powder and using a setting spray. That is how I would normally wear a foundation. I, like I said, have oily skin. My face gets greasy throughout the day. I have to touch up. Even with mattifying foundations, I do touch up. Now, if this claim to be a mattifying foundation with a long wearing mattifying finish and I probably wouldn't use a mattifying primer and I probably wouldn't set it down or anything like that because that would be a claim it would be testing that's not a claim that I'm testing with this one I just want to see how it wears on my oily skin if by the end of the day it's still looking pretty good it has not broken all up it doesn't look all cakey and just you know cruddy and just gross then you know that's good that's about all I can really expect from a foundation with my greasy face and like I said I do do primers I have large pores. I have, you know, scarring from previous acne. If I do not use a primer, this foundation will not look good on my skin and it won't be the fault of the foundation. It'll just be because I have a lot of texture on my skin. I have to put down a primey base. So just wanted to put that out before we started. I will be touching up once throughout the day, which I don't normally do for wear test. But later on this afternoon, it is right now 10, 15, about two o'clock. We will be leaving to go pick up my stepfather. And so I'm going to be taking my husband and my stepfather out for a late father's day lunch so because of the fact that you know we are going to be leaving the house and going someplace and going in public i will be touching up a little bit just because you know i'm not going to go out in public with like a greasy face i will show you guys what the foundation looks like how it's wearing at that point before i set it down and i'll probably show you what it looks like or not set it down touch it up and i'll probably show you again what it looks like touched up just to kind of see how the foundation you know looks after being touched up i'm, I'm going to try to do one more one more check in after lunch and then a final check in this afternoon it just kind of depends on how the day goes since we are going to be a little bit busy this afternoon but with all that being said all that babbling let's go ahead and jump into applying this foundation the shade that i got is number 30 medium warm this might be slightly light but hopefully not i usually wear like a warm neutral or like a tan the tan shades though were looking really deep like even the lightest tan shape was looking kind of dark i don't think it would have worked for me they did have a medium neutral but for some reason that looked lighter than this one so i went with this one this is medium warm i'm applying it with my total face sponge from elf i'm gonna apply a little bit on my hand just so i can kind of see the shade match and also see what the texture is like okay the the um formula oh look i have a little I have a little spot right here you guys i didn't even realize that was there until now wow i don't even know what that is but anyway it does seem has a bit of a thickness to it so it's not like super thin it's not runny or anything and it looks like it's going to have a decent amount of coverage it looks like it might be slight for my skin or slightly light for my skin but if it mattifies or oxidizes if i can speak english it should be fine so let's go ahead i'm going to take it and i'm going to squeeze a little bit on my sponge like i said this might be a little bit light but you know the shades that were deeper than this were just looking way too deep all right slightly light but not bad 
it actually blends in pretty well and like once i put a little bit of bronzer on this is gonna be perfect i'm glad i went with this shade any lighter would have been too light any deeper would have been too deep and we'll just have to see what it looks like you know if it does oxidize so far the finish is looking satin it's definitely not matte it's not matte it's not a satin matte it's very pretty it's extremely skin like can you see that and this shade definitely blends in perfectly like i mentioned i'm glad that i went with this one i put just a little bit more of my sponge just to kind of get around the forehead the coverage is actually really good too i had a little bit of redness going on and as you can see it's evened out that redness pretty well foundation is fully applied and you guys it is looking really really pretty it's definitely not matte there's a little bit of kind of a tackiness to it which i would expect from a formula that you know this one is claiming to be i'm gonna go off camera i'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup right now it is currently 10 20 as i finish applying the foundation come back i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like after all of my makeup is applied and i guess we'll consider that like the first check-in i've set everything down i've done like the base part of my makeup i wanted to go ahead and show you guys what it looked like after i set it down before i put like powder bronzer and all of that on i use the aoa studio perfect setting powder in banana get this off a of shop miss a it's one of my favorite powders and as you can see the finish is looking really nice it's set down really well everything is looking really pretty everything is looking pretty kind of like satin matte right now i'm loving the way this foundation is sitting on my skin so far right now it's 10 26 so it's been about five minutes you know since i did since i did the actual foundation application and so far everything is looking good finish the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back and do our first official check-in the rest of my makeup is done so far the foundation is still looking really really good now it's only been about 30 minutes but it's looking really good like it looks like skin i am so impressed with the finish the shade is like absolutely perfect as you guys know more often than not i picked the wrong shade but this looks really really good trying out a new lipstick this is from covergirl it is the exhibitionist ultra matte when i was at my local walmart before we went out of town to go to nashville they had a bunch of covergirl makeup products that were in clearance now it was very obvious that they like the little matte foundations a lot of this stuff was expired i mean you, you could tell they were separating everything this was like five dollars decided to pick it up um, and i thought you know what if it's good and I like it, then I'll go back and get some other shades. It does not smell expired or anything. It actually smells very good. This is shade 610 Hustler. And it's a really pretty nude. And I really like the way that it looks. The shade is really, really nice. I think it's a very pretty, just soft, kind of a peach nude. A little bit of pink to it. I think it looks really, really pretty with this eye look. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I am going to go do some laundry. I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning. I do have one more video that I'm going to film today. And by then it should be about time for us to get ready to head out to take my husband and my stepfather out for their Father's Day late lunch. I'll show you what it looks like before I touch up. I may not have to touch up at all. We'll just have to see. I mean, it's right now it is 1045. We'll be heading out the door in just about a couple of hours, so I may not even need to touch up, but we'll see when we, when we get there. I will definitely check in before we head out and just kind of show you guys what it's looking like then. But right now, it is setting. It has set really well over my primers. It looks really pretty underneath the setting powder. That right there is already a good sign, so it's working really well with my favorite product so far. But I will see you guys in two and two. So it is about 1.30. I'm doing, I guess, would be my second check-in. So far, everything is still looking really nice. I do have a little bit of shine coming through, which, you know, I expected. This is not a matte finish foundation, but I don't think I'm going to have to touch up. I was thinking that maybe I might have to touch up a little bit before we head out to do this late lunch, but everything is looking really good, and I don't think I'm going to have to touch up. So far, everything is looking really, really good. I'll check back in a couple of hours or so. Hopefully, I can do one more check-in before the final check-in. So, see you in a bit. We are doing our third check-in of the day. It has been six hours. I just got back from having lunch with my husband and my stepfather. It is very, very hot outside. I have been out in the sun, so I have to put this foundation kind of to the test. It's still looking pretty good. I didn't touch up. My oily shine, you know, is coming through. But overall, I think it's looking pretty good. I am impressed with this finish so far. So far, everything is looking pretty nice. And I will come back in for my final check-in a little bit later. We are doing our final check-in. And you guys, it is like 10 o'clock. So I have had this makeup on for 11 hours. That is like the longest I have gone doing a wear test. Usually I, I ended at about 8. But once we got back from having lunch, I was 
was just tired. I really didn't want to do anything else. So we just kind of chilled and watched Netflix like the rest of the evening. But I'm finally doing this check-in. And I got to say, you guys, I am super impressed with this foundation. Now, if you look at my skin, it's shiny. It's oily. The, you know, my natural oils have come through. My face, you know, is oily. But the foundation itself still looks so good. Like, it's not broken up. It still looks very smooth. It's not cakey. It doesn't look, you know, weird or anything on my skin. It's not sitting weird. It looks really, really good. On a normal day, I would just touch up throughout the day and just, just kind of like pat down some of the shine. But overall, you guys, I am super impressed. I am really, really loving this foundation. Even though this is not a matte foundation, it does come off kind of like a satin matte finish and wear throughout the day. And this was definitely a successful wear test. And I am definitely happy with the results. If you enjoyed the video, if you found it helpful, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you are not already subscribed, I would love it if you consider joining my little family, hitting subscribe. Make sure you tap the bell so you don't miss a thing, and you can also follow me on my other socials. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one.